Welcome back guys for another video. Today what we're gonna do is talk about how to get traits, almighty traits, much easier and almost guaranteed here in Anime Defender. So you gotta watch till the very end because this is very important, especially for the next update of Anime Defenders. And by the way, since we just recently reached 25,000 subscribers here in the Anime Defenders channel, we are going to be doing a secret almighty unit giveaway because I know a lot of you guys out there don't have an almighty secret unit yet. I'm going to be doing one on our Discord. So if you want to be part of it, all you have to do is like and subscribe. So if you don't want to miss out on it, subscribe right now. Share this video with your friends. It's super important that you guys join this for a free secret almighty unit. Alright, so first let me discuss with you guys. And um, let's just first discuss just how rare, truly, how rare, truly the um, almighty trait is. So right now I have my Lunar Empress. I've been trying to roll almighty on her for a while and I'm going to just try and do a few rolls right here no almighty traits because almighty traits is a zero almighty trait is a 0.1% chance a 0.1% rarity so it's not showing here which is weird but uh, there's actually a command on the discord bot that can show you kind of just how rare it is right here as you guys can see people are using a command called uh under a roll and basically what this does is there's a bot in the discord and if you say this it will actually show you the traits that you're gonna get so this guy right here did 1000 rerolls but he didn't get a single almighty unit so he got the requiem three times precision 12 times and this guy did a 12,000 roll he did not get an almighty as well this one did 1000 no requiem no almighty which is actually kind of insane and then right here this one did 69 no almighty and this one right here did 150 but he got an almighty so it's actually pretty cool this one did 20 rerolls 20 rolls this one did 250 I'm gonna try and do one myself. So I did right here 1,000 rerolls, uh, 1,000 rolls right here. I didn't get a single uh, Almighty trait. So by the way, since this is 1,000, that's basically 5,000 trait crystals right here. 5,000 trait crystals, and I didn't get a single Almighty. Just a bunch of requiem, just a bunch of um, traits as well. Let's actually go test it out again one more time. So this guy right here finally got an almighty after 1,000 traits. This guy got nothing. So here I can do another roll 1,000. So let me do um, roll 1,000 again. So this is basically, I finally got an almighty trait crystal, right? An almighty trait right here. So this is after 2,000 rolls, I finally got an almighty. So that's around 5,000 plus trait crystals. This guy right here got lucky and he got an almighty within... 15 rolls but essentially the main thing here is it's very rare and hard to get almighty so what's the best way and easiest way to get an almighty it actually depends on which which unit you're going to try and get the almighty trait on so let me explain right here so for example shadow dragon let's actually go check their prices as well and in order to check the prices of this unit we're going to use so right here on their discord you can actually see the price of a normal shadow dragon a normal shadow dragons around 4.75 million Almighty Shadow Dragons, I think somewhere around double that amount. I think Almighty Shadow Dragon will be around um, probably around 9 million, 8 million, something like that. And again, by the way, guys, again, um, they are going to be adding the prices for the Almighty Traits, the Requiem Traits as well. So, for example, if you want to get a Shadow Dragon Almighty, um, the problem with this is Shadow Dragon Almighty is going to cost you somewhere around 9 million. Okay, 9 million gems, okay? Probably it's less, but I think it's around 9 million. And to be honest, with 9 million gems... Okay, so this is, this is how we're gonna do it, okay? The normal Shadow Dragon's around 4 million. So, 4 million to buy normal Shadow Dragon. And you let's say you wanna get Almighty on it, okay? So, with 4 million gems, you can actually already get... 10,000 trade crystals if each of if they're gonna sell it for 400,000 for 1,000 you can get around 10,000 trade crystals so right here as you guys can see 4 million divided by 400 so 1,000 trade crystals for 400 and you're gonna have and you're gonna have around 10,000 okay 10,000 trade crystals so basically um 4 million trade crystals is gonna give you around 10,000 trade crystals already and honestly, this is kind of already enough to get a almighty trait, in my opinion. Like, you saw me get an almighty trait within 10,000 rolls. Now, again, since Shadow Dragon's around 9 million, it's pro you're probably just better off getting one using trait, uh, using trait crystals, using trait rerolls. That way, you're probably gonna get it cheaper. Now, you could still technically buy these units. You could still technically buy um, the, the units for, for gems. Like, for example, Shadow Dragon... You can still buy for around 10 million, 9 million, maybe 8 million at the least. Now, um, 
For units like Shadow Shiny, Shadow Dragon, this is basically when you don't want to buy the Almighty version with gems because the Almighty version of Shadow Shiny, Shadow Dragon will be costing you so much gems. Okay, it will technically make it um, not worth it to buy the Almighty version with gems, and it will make it better to just buy uh, three crystals to reroll on the Shiny Shadow Dragon. So basically, the lesson here is very simple. Um, depending on which unit you're uh, buying, which unit you're uh, re-rolling on, then you're gonna just want to get the trade. You're just gonna want to buy the almighty version of that. So for example, for units like the Pro Gamer or a Donut Master, you're probably just better off buying the almighty version for gems because it's literally gonna save you so much more gems than when you buy it with... Um, than you, when you buy trade crystals to re-roll for it. Because again, you could get unlucky and stuff like that. But when it comes to very expensive units like Shiny Shadow Dragon or Shiny Igris, then you're probably just better off really just um, re-rolling for Almighty instead of buying an Almighty version because again, it's going to be 10 million plus more expensive, which is not worth it at that point. So yeah, but again, since most of you don't have these expensive units, you're probably better off just buying uh, the units that you want with Almighty instead of re-rolling for them. So most of you probably don't have a shiny Cursed Knight or shiny Shadow Dragon. Even I don't have a shiny Shadow Dragon. So most of you guys are probably just better off buying almighty versions of these units. Except when they're untradeable. When they're untradeable, obviously your only option is to uh, re-roll for dates on them. But if they are um, summonable, you're probably just better off and almost guaranteed to get an almighty if you just save up your gems and trade for an almighty version. Because here, as you guys can see, you can see people right here re-rolling 69 times, 170 times, 1,000 times, not getting a single, all, not getting an almighty. By the way, 1,000 re-rolls is around 5,000 trade crystals, okay? 5,000 trade crystals. So this guy right here, not getting a single almighty, no almighty right here, 200, no almighty. So again, it's insanely rare. You're probably just really better off um, using the gems that you want to get that you're gonna use to buy trade crystals to just save them up and trade for an almighty unit of the version you're trying to get that way it's guaranteed almost 100 percent guaranteed and is also the easiest way to get almighty on these new units okay now i'm just gonna briefly cover as well how to make gems just for the people out there that don't know how to make gems so if you're a complete beginner and you want to make gems i would recommend grinding portals so obviously just figure out how to get these portals i've made tons of videos already then each of these portals if they're a mythical portal you can actually rent out these portals for gems so for a single slot you can probably sell a single slot for 25 three crystals which is a decent amount and since there's three slots per portal that's free you can sell it for around 25 slots each that's around 75 trade crystals for each portal that you're doing if you can sell these slots for um for the portals that you're doing and also you get you get gems while doing this as well and also you get trade crystals so um if you're a complete beginner farming lunar portals farming portals and then selling their slots to other people that are willing to pay in order to get in those portals is a great way to make some money to get to make some money and then once you're no longer a beginner the best way the absolute best way is to do buying and selling or trading and again using one to three demands is going to help you guys a lot a lot there because one to three demands has the values they are going to be adding the trade values as well soon They're, they also have trade ads and whatnot in order to trade with other people from the community so yeah this is a very great way to trade with other people you also have the discord my discord when trading with people so yeah that's pretty much the best way to make gems uh, so yeah that's pretty much about it for this video guys if there are people out there that thinks there's a better way to get almighty then you're free to comment it down below but i honestly think that this is the best way to get almighty on your units so there's a lot of people out there that keep on forcing themselves trying to reroll almighty on these units there's a lot of people out there that wants to reroll almighty on their units but it's just not realistic it's way too expensive and it's just not um, worth it. It's much better to save your gems and just get the almighty version of the unit that you want instead of rerolling for them. That's gonna be it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.